Watch you guys got another video. Windows 10 users must do this right now. With Windows 10 approaching the end of life on October 14th, 2025, it's time to act now. Otherwise, you're going to end up with massive problems if you don't do what I'm going to show you right now. Now, you can pick up USB flash drives pretty cheap in the UK and America. You can see this one's $6.99 for a 64 gigabyte, pretty fast flash drive. You're going to need one of these to be able to create yourself a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it. So why would you need to have a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10? The simple reason is once Windows 10 reaches end of life, normally Microsoft will end support completely. You will not receive any support, any security updates or anything like that. Even the Windows 10 download page will disappear. So you're not going to be able to download the ISO file or the media creation tool to create a bootable Windows 10 installation media. And this is important because if you ever need to reinstall Windows, if you plan on staying on Windows 10, then basically you're not going to be able to get the media from Microsoft themselves. Yes, there'll be plenty of ISOs floating around on the internet, but do you really want to risk any of those on your PC when you should be getting them directly from Microsoft? So I would advise you purchase yourself a couple of USB flash drives and download the Create Windows 10 installation media from their website. Because once that deadline reaches October 14th, 2025, this page will disappear and it will be difficult if you have a crash or you need to reinstall Windows. All you need to do is download the file and open up the file and you will see Windows 10 setup. Accept their terms conditions, it's going to get a few things ready. And then what you need to do now is select the Create Installation Media USB flash drive. Now select the language, architecture and edition. And you can see use recommended options for this PC. If you're using the older piece of hardware, you might be running a 32-bit operating system. If that's the case, I'd advise you to use the both option for the architecture. That way you'll have 64-bit and 32-bit versions depending on how old your PC is. So it's probably best just to choose both, uh, but you can use the recommended option for this PC if the PC you're using and creating this on is a Windows 10 system, and that is the operating system that you're gonna be reinstalling onto that PC. So you could use that option. Choose your language, and we've got Windows 10. Click Next, and we can move on to the next step. Now you can choose your USB flash drive here. It needs to be at least eight gigabytes in size. I'll leave some links in the video description for some decent USB flash drives. Don't worry, we're gonna come back and download the ISO file afterwards. So now we've selected our USB flash drive, you can now click next. And what this is gonna do is erase all the data on that USB flash drive and create our Windows 10 bootable media. Once this is done, you'll be able to keep this safe just in case you ever need to reinstall Windows because some people are going to be forced to keep their PCs for a longer period because they don't have the money to buy a new computer. So this is probably going to be your best option. That USB drive has now been created. We're going to go back into the media creation tool and we're going to download the ISO file because this ISO file we can use on other software like Rufus if you want to use more customized bootable USB flash drives. So again, choose your uh, selected language, architecture and edition. Again, I'm going to put this on both and we're just going to leave that as is. You can choose your language, but I'm going to leave it as United Kingdom. Now we're going to select the ISO file and we're going to go through and click next. Then you can select your folder you want to download it to. I'm going to rename this one to Windows 10 underscore 22 H2 because that's exactly what it is. And we're going to select the folder we want to download it to and select save. What this is going to do is the same thing, get a few things ready, and then it's going to start pulling down that ISO file. But this time it's not going to create a bootable USB flash drive. It's basically just going to download the ISO file as you can see right here. So now you have a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it, and you also have the ISO file so you can create other bootable USB flash drives if you need to in the future. This way you don't have to download some shady ISO off the internet. You know this has come from Microsoft. Next we're going to do a search for Rufus and Rufus will do exactly the same thing but it's going to give you more customization. 
So we're going to download the standard version, which is going to install on our PC. And once we get this installed, we'll be able to create a bootable USB flash drive. This is for people that want more advanced options than what Microsoft offer with their media creation tool. So what we need to do first is select that ISO file that we downloaded uh, from the Microsoft uh, website. So hit the select button and choose your ISO that you downloaded from the Microsoft website. All we need to do now is make some changes to the settings. I'm going to put this to NTFS on file system. I'm going to leave cluster size as is. Partition scheme, if you've got a more newer computer, you might be using GPT. But if you've got a pretty old PC, you might want to set this to MBR, uh, BIOS and UFI CSM or something like that. But we've got a pretty newer system here. So we're going to select GPT, UEFI. And again, all we need to do now is select our custom Windows installation settings. You can choose a local account here with the name that you want. I'm going to leave this as only me, but you can choose whatever name you like to have your set up to. This way, you don't have to have a Microsoft account. Next, choose your region options, the same value as the users. We can disable data collection and skip all the privacy questions. And we can even disable BitLocker automatic device encryption by checking that right there. Click OK. You might see a box popping up like this. Click OK again, and it's going to warn you about erasing all the data on that USB flash drive. If you're happy to continue, click OK, and this will then start creating a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it with our custom selection of settings that we've set. This way, you won't be forced to uh, have an internet connection, and you won't be forced to have a Microsoft account during the installation of Windows 10. Now, Microsoft have a habit of acting pretty quickly once Windows operating system reaches end of life. So you'll see things starting to disappear like the download page. This is why it's important to have this ready now if you are continuing to use Windows 10 for a few more years. That way you'll have all this prepared and ready just in case you have a crisis with your Windows based system and you need to reinstall Windows 10 or get into the recovery options. You can use these flash drives to be able to boot up to and reinstall Windows or be able to go into recovery and do some work there. I hope this video has been some sort of help to you. Act now before the October 14th, 2025, because that time will come around pretty quickly and you don't want to be caught napping and have no USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do, as I've shown you in this video. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section or join my Discord server. The link is in the video description. I'll be happy to help you more over there. If you've got any questions about Windows 10, you can always drop them down in the comments section or post them on our Discord server. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video. Have a lovely Sunday. Bye for now.